guys. Welcome back to my channel. I have a little haul of goodies to share with you from Not Too Shabby and I also have my design team package for the month of May. So I'm going to get right started and show you guys. So here is the card for Not Too Shabby. I will put the link below for the shop and I will link all of these products separately for you and if you do head over you can use the coupon code CRAFTYGIRL to save 10% on your order. Also make sure you sign into your account so you can collect your reward points and for US orders over $60 they ship free. So there is information and there is a cute little packaged envelope from Jamie and look at this cute washi. This is doodlebug washi and it has little sprinkles on it. It's so adorable and Jamie made this card. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Look at the little panda. Oh my gosh. This is from a new MFT stamp set. It is I'm not sure what it's called, but I will link it below, but it is precious. I love that little panda bear, and the background is so cool. I will link below. I'm not sure if she had a video on how to make these, but I think she did, so I will link her channel for you guys if you want to go see how she made this card, but it is so, so nice. I, you can see the glossy black jelly pen on the nose and eyes of the panda bear and it just looks so nice and it looks like she heat embossed the sentiment there which is you are soy awesome and look at the cute little um I think this is called um what it is sushi that's what it's called I couldn't think of it for a second so it's like a little sushi spread there and there's a sweet little note inside thank you so much Jamie so this is my DT stamp for this month so I'll be using this for my design team projects and I usually post on Thursdays so if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it so this is the set that I picked out and it is called a bird's life and it is so incredibly cute the new sunny studio release is precious I will show some other goodies that I also have to show from the Sunny Studio release, but this one is so cute for spring or summer. You get four different little bird houses, and they're all decorative, so this one is really cute with a little fence there and a heart. Um, this, one, this one's called A Bird's Life, if I didn't say, and then you also get a little flower one. That one has a little heart and this super cute one. I love the roof. And then you get some different branches there and a little nest, and there's all different little birds that you can put in there. And I love the little bow, and there's two little flowers and some leaves as well. So the sentiments you get for this one is, a little bird told me it's your birthday. There's no place like home from our nest to yours. I'd like to go out on a limb for you. Tweet home, tweet, and happy bird day. So really cute. I'm really excited to make some projects with this one. The next thing is Jamie had in the shop a freebie and she's had a ton of freebies lately so always if you're making a purchase check to see if there's a freebie and this was her freebie. I just actually purchased it separately because I really wanted it and it is this really nice little die and it has stitching around it and um, I don't know what this one was called. I don't think this is in the shop now but this was the freebie for a little bit and it's perfect for the front of card bases. So I grabbed that. Then from the new Sunny Studio release, this is the Perfect Popsicles, and I love Sunny Studio's stamps where you can layer the image, and this one is a popsicle, so you can layer the top and the bottom of the popsicle in different colors, and then you can also layer the stick, and the sentiments on this one are really nice too. You get, wishing you the coolest birthday, you are so cool, let's chill and have a sweet day. So I'm really excited to stamp that one out. I'll have to do a video so you guys can see it in action. And then this one is two scoops and this one is so cool. I am so excited to try this one. And again, you stamp out the different um, ink. So you do like a dark ink, a lighter, or excuse me, you'd start with the lightest color. So you do like a light pink, maybe a medium pink, and then a dark pink. And then it will really look very realistic. And so you get those little swirly ones and you also get the scoops and then there's one where you can add like chocolate and there is a little cherry and then you get two different choices for the cones and they have on it I don't know how well you can see but they are numbered so you know which scoop to do when so it goes 1a 1b and 1c or like 2a and 2b so you know um, what order to stamp them in so this one is so cool and has some great sentiments as well the next thing that I got is another one of these fairy tale papers, and I did show this in another video, but I'll just cut it apart so you guys can see. It is 
so stinking cute. I knew that if I did not get another one, I would never use the first one because I'm going to hoard that one until the end of time. And there's cut up hearts in this one, rainbows, and it's like birthday themed. And look at the unicorns. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love Doodlebug's bright papers. So that is the fairy tale six by six. And then this also is from that same collection. It is the 6x12 paper, or excuse me, the 6x12 sticker set. This one is Fairy Tales. So you get all of these stickers, and they are kind of like a cardstock sticker, but I love using these in my planner or for making even cards or pocket letters, that type of thing. So that's everything that I picked up, and I will put the links for everything below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my design team projects for the month of May, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now!